currently the leader in the all-around with a 39-5-7-5. Michaela Skinner now will close it out for Utah on the floor. Bailey Rowe, 9-9-2-5 before her, so. And Bart, if you saw her walk onto the floor, it just tells you all about Michaela Skinner. There is confidence. And what can you say about and this opening tumbling me. run? Double-double. Wow. The amount of energy she brings to this routine is pretty, <laughs> pretty crazy, really. This is why she was such an important contributor to the U.S. teams at the World Championships over the last several years because on events like floor and vault, nobody could out-tumble or out-difficulty her. You're right, she could do so much difficulty. That part of her score was just sky high. She could even take a few of the deductions for, you know, footwork or, or form and the leaps and jumps. She has worked hard on correcting those here for college. Nice to see. One and a half twist, two to a double twist. She's marking those positions at the end to really show off the fact that she has complete control on the landings. Uh oh. Almost lost her balance stepping into the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you can do double twisting, double back. Check this. Step out of bounds on a shimmy. Only a few do this in the beginning of the oh. routine. She handled that landing very well because it was a big step back, but she showed it in such a way it masked how large the step back was. Well done. <laughs> and she is getting her Utah fans on their feet. And they <laughs> are here in mass. They have big expectations at Utah. The last time they won the national team championship was way back in 1995. Do they have a team this year good enough to win? Even in slow motion, look how fast this is. Two flips and two twists. <laughs> what excitement these outstanding freshmen have brought to collegiate gymnastics this year. Michaela Skinner will help secure a berth in the Super 6 final, so the results are official.